Let's uh, revisit example one and see if we can solve this circuit using the T equivalent circuit we just we just learned, right? And let's see this circuit. And this the T equivalent circuit. Uh, let's first recognize a few things. And the first x one is going to be in this circuit is equal to x one is equal to uh, ten, right? And x m is equal to twenty five and x2 is equal to 100 for the linear transformer, right? And keep that in mind as we do the equivalent circuit. And since this one is going to the dot terminal, one going into the dot terminal and the other one is going into the under dot, dot terminal, so therefore we're going to have the uh, second case for the T equivalent circuit. Let's, let's just redraw the, uh, first we draw the circuit and uh, and the uh, for the linear transformer, then we draw the rest. So this one is going to be equal minus j x m, which is negative j twenty five, right? X m is twenty five. We have a j uh, x one plus x m, which is a j thirty five, and we have uh, j one twenty five. So these are the t. These are the equivalent circuit for this linear transformer here and we're going to just need to read the uh, complete the circuit of the rest of the circuit T J75 and we're going to have uh, the uh, 500 ohms and all things in ohms And we have 50 ohms here, and we have 100 volts here, and this is 50 ohms, and the current I1 is still here, and that's the current we are trying to find. And now, I hope you can see this circuit uh, quite straightforward now, right? And I can use the series connect series these two impeding in series so that's negative j hundred and these two in series and they are further in parallel so on and so forth so I'm gonna write this equation directly so I one is gonna be equal to one hundred divided by the equivalent impedance that's the five fifty in series with the j thirty five right so this is gonna be uh, and uh, plus the parallel of these two uh, impedances and it's the parallel I can use the product over the sum and so I'm going to use J125 plus 500 and the times so that's the, for the uh, for this path and the times negative J100 Negative J hundred is negative J twenty five minus J seventy five, and so divided by the the sum, which is J twenty five one twenty five plus five hundred minus J hundred. So if you calculate this, and this is exactly equal to one point four thirty five thirty three point three. If you don't believe me, I can show you the evidence using that Python. That's the, the, the very intelligent calculator, right? So nothing else, it's just the crunching the numbers here. And so I use a Python to crunch the number for me. I just write this, um, and I just write this equation, and plus J35, uh, and that's how you do it in the Python. 35J, that's a complex number and it divided by a plus 125j plus 500 times negative 100j divided by 500 plus 125j and minus 100j so that's the and the uh, once i run this and this is exactly the same uh, same angle same current we get from the first one you see this equivalent circuit is sometimes can really simplify this, right? We can get the result in one step rather than solving four simultaneous equations, right? That's pretty cool. And it, uh, so we didn't really do much for the equivalent circuit. We just did a little trick and then we draw the equivalent circuit. And that equivalent circuit actually can, uh, can be quite useful, right? OK.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video lectures. And I'm going to see you next time. Remember, no matter what you do, you just need to be keeping going, right? Keep on going and never stop. I'll see you next time.